Hello and welcome to part 3 of the TweetAdder Works video tutorials. In this video we'll be going over the automation features of TweetAdder. Now this really is the best part about TweetAdder because it's true set it and forget it. Allowing us to automate all of the tasks and functions and features that I showed you in video 1 and 2 and ultimately saving you a ton of time. I've got TweetAdder open and I'm on the overview screen and there's just a couple things I want to show you here. Underneath each of the functions and tasks of TweetEdder, there's a little icon indicating whether the automation is on or off for each one of these pieces. Here's the legend down here. Green is on, red is off. Pretty simple. And the other thing is, is the turn account off, turn account on. You can actually turn your account off and none of the automation features will work. TweetAdder will log out of the account and this is handy if you're managing multiple accounts and you need just to turn one account off for whatever reason. Um, this allows you to turn it off without having to remove it and at a later time when you're ready to start working with it again you can just click turn account on. Alright it's logging in and I'm going to go ahead and open our Max Coffee Shop account. Okay, let's go over a couple of account level settings that are related to automation. We click on our profile we click on settings and this setting right here only run automated tasks between a start time and a stop time we'll go ahead and check that this tells TweetEdder when to run our automated tasks and the purpose behind this is to seem as human as possible if we're sending out tweets and direct messages and follows 24 hours a day it can give the appearance that we're using a bot or a program to run our Twitter account and the next setting is under settings and it's the minimize the system tray. We want to make sure we have this checked. And TweetEdder has to be running all the time for the automation to work. And so instead of minimizing to the taskbar, this minimizes to the system tray, basically allowing it to run in the background. All right, let's go back to the tweet search page. All right, let's get started with the automation. The first up is the tweet search. The first thing we want to do is click this button to turn the automation on and then we want to add some keywords to search on. I'm going to use Coffee Lover from our previous example and instead of clicking search now we want to click add automated search and what this does is after our to follow list has all been followed we have gone through this entire list the tweet search will then search on new profiles that trigger by this keyword giving us a never-ending supply of Twitter profiles to follow. Now that I've shown you how to keep your to follow list stocked with targeted profiles, profiles targeted to whatever it is you're marketing, let's take a look at the follow and unfollow users automation. Now this is pretty straightforward. In each of these sections, we basically just turn the automation on, and instead of having to click the start button to follow users, TweetAdder will automatically do this on a daily basis. Same thing with follow back. We turn the automation on, and instead of clicking start, TweetEdder will automatically follow back any users that follow us. Same deal with unfollow users. We turn it on and every day it will unfollow users that fit the settings that you have set here. So now we are automatically filling up our to follow list with our automated tweet search. We are following those users automatically with our automated follow. We are following back any users that follow us automatically and we are unfollowing users that don't follow us back all automatically. Let's move on to the communications automation. Just like the follow and unfollow user section, the automated communications are very straightforward. You go into the section, you turn the automation on, and TweetEdder will use your settings to automatically send tweets, tweet your RSS feed, automated retweets, and automated replies. And the last function you can automate is the thank you message. And just like the rest, you turn the automation on and TweetEdder uses your settings to post thank you messages when people follow you. Now if you have all of the communication automation turned on for your profile, it's going to be an overload. If all your tweets, RSS feed tweets, retweets and replies are all automated, somebody's going to notice and more than likely it's going to be your followers and that's a good way to lose followers is to look like a bot. So my recommendation is that you only turn on the RSS feed and the thank you messages. The RSS feed automation will keep your Twitter profile full of relevant fresh content from whichever RSS feed you are pulling. 
in the thank you message automation will make sure that you never miss a user that it followed you with the opportunity to say thank you and to also post your website URL. That concludes video 3 of the TweetAdderWorks video tutorials. I hope these help out and good luck with your Twitter campaigns.